Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a fun puzzle for you. Suppose we have a chessboard, but instead of the standard 8x8, we're considering a more general chessboard where the side lengths are 2 to the n, where n is just some positive integer. So in fact, this case I've drawn here is in fact the 8x8 case, so when n is 3. Okay, but what we're also going to do is remove one of the squares uh, in the corner. So we've removed one of the corner squares like so. What we want to know is, is it possible to cover this chessboard here with these sort of shapes here. So this kind of uh, right angle looking thing where there are three squares um, and it kind of goes one here, one up and then one across. So can we cover this chessboard using this so that none of these tiles here overlap and that every single square on the chessboard is covered by uh, one of the pieces here. Okay, so if you wanna have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself and I'm gonna jump straight into a solution. Okay, so the solution to this problem is in fact, yes, we can always cover the chessboard with these pieces here. And the way we're gonna prove that is by induction. So let's firstly look at the case where n equals one. Well, then we're just considering a two by two chessboard with one corner missing. So it's just gonna look like this anyway. So then of course we can just take this tile and completely cover it like so and we'll be done. So the case at n equals one is very trivial and very straightforward. Now what we're gonna do is proceed by induction. So suppose we've um, showed it's true for all, um, all chess boards uh, where the side length is at most two to the n minus one. And now what we're gonna do is look at the case two to the n. So it's something like this I've drawn here. And what we're gonna do is a very nice trick. We're actually gonna split this board now, uh, cutting it in half and then in half like that. So if we cut it in half, so a line say down here, Okay, and then a line across like here, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now what we've done is we spl split up our two to the n by two to the n chessboard now in four equally sized chess boards, except where this one has a corner missing. Now, what are the side lengths of each of these chess boards? Well, it's just two to the n divided by two, so it's two to the n minus one. So that length there is two to the n minus one. That length there is two to the n minus one, and so on. These are all two to the n minus one. Okay, and now let's firstly look at this square here. So this bottom right sort of square. It's a chessboard of size two to the n minus one times two to the, uh, by two to the n minus one with one corner missing. So by assumption, we can cover this using these, um, these shapes here. So there is some way to cover these uh, squares like so. So I'm just gonna shade this whole area in because we know by assumption of our inductive step, or by our assumption step, sorry, that there's a way to cover this. Now, the question is, can we do the same with these three? Well, the annoying thing is they don't have a corner missing, so we can't just directly apply the assumption, but here's where we use a really, really nice trick. What we're gonna do is introduce one of these tiles here straight in, and it's gonna be this one here. So we're gonna place this tile over there like so. And now what we see is that this guy here is a two to the n minus one by two to the n minus one chessboard with a corner missing, i.e. this corner here. And then thus by our assumption, we can cover this, the rest of this guy using uh, these tiles here. Okay, and you might wonder, well, the corner is now here as opposed to there. Well, it doesn't really matter. We can kind of rotate this if we want. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. We've just got a corner missing. And by our assumption, we can cover this guy here using these shapes. Similarly for this guy here, this is a two to the n minus one by two to the n minus one chessboard with one corner missing now, or this corner has already been covered by the tile. So again, by assumption, we can cover the rest of this using these tiles. And similarly for this final one, we can cover the rest of it using these tiles here. And hence, we can cover the entire chessboard using just these shaped tiles here. And that kind of completes the proof. Or, you know, maybe make a statement that we're done by induction because we can continue this argument for any an actual number n. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's a nice fun puzzle and showing you that, you know, proof by induction isn't just limited to, you know, proving that, you know, proving summations or proving that, you know, matrices to the power of n take a certain form. You can actually do, use it to solve cool problems like this. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.